Hello. How are you? You may wonder what the hell you're looking at. Well, recently, I had a few people asking me, Hey, Mike, you used to do Commodore 64 games. You know, Commodore 64. But, you know, I haven't done any in a while. I haven't done any in a while because, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, this isn't the Com Commodore 64. No, this is the uh, this is the Atari 800 that I'm ticking around on right now. And you might ask, well, why are you on the Atari 800? Because it's my childhood also. Yes, Commodore 64 was one of the first things I ever played, but I do believe... I might be wrong. I might be remembering this wrong, but I do believe I was playing this first. Quite a beast of a machine. Looks like a little keyboard with a slots on the top of it to put cartridge in and also things on the side to attach the the accessories. Oh god, that cassette player? Ridiculous. So you might ask, what are we doing today on the Atari 800? We're doing this! Yeah! Look at that! Miner 2049er. That's the game we're playing. Starring Bounty Bob! You might ask, well, what, what kind of game is this? Well... You see all those uh, sections of the floor that are got lines through them and how they're clearing out. Yeah, that's that's the gameplay. We're going to be doing that the entire game. Uh, I used to think that he was cleaning up radioactive waste. No, that's just him claiming sections of the mine. There are ten sections in all. Uh, what's the story? Well, the story really doesn't matter much because basically Bounty Bob is going after a guy named uh, Yukon Johan who we never see, and he fled into Nuclear Ned to mine. Yeah. Now, with a name like Nuclear Ned, you might wonder what the hell is going on. Well, this happens to be a uranium mine. Also, I don't know what the name of this song is. It sounds so familiar, I should know it. I should know it, but I, I don't. It's very annoying. <laughs> but let's, let's begin this game by pressing either numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. I'm going to push 1. So we start on Zone 1, the beginner difficulty level. So yeah, you might notice these uh, flashing things. Those are radioactive monsters. And that thing I just picked up was left by past miners. And now that these things are green, you might think you're killing them. No, according to the manual, you are eating them for survival. So yeah, fangs have been left behind by past miners. They're worth points. They also make the monsters killable. That was a bottle, and that's a shovel right there. I think that thing on the right is like a powdered donut. I don't know. I'm using my imagination, you guys. Because really, why wouldn't I? And... Yeah, this is the whole game. You might ask, why am I starting on level 1? Or difficulty level 1? Well... You can select from 1 to 9. 9... I'll show that later. That's kind of a joke. According to the manual, this goes all the way up to difficulty level 255, which I think... might exist, but... you gotta be kidding me. And you'll see why I say that... as we progress. Now these things right here... Yeah, they're slides. If you walk over them, you'll slide down. Which can be good. It can also be kind of bad. For various reasons. And uh, in case you haven't figured it out yet, you complete the level by claiming each section of the floor. Which can be a little bit tedious. But it has to be done. Alright, there we go. Yep, yeah, we, we're on a timer, in case you didn't know what that blue box with the white numbers is. Yeah, that's a timer. That's a timer. We have only so much time before we die. I like to think it's uh, how much time we have left before we succumb to radioactive poisoning. I think that was a rowboat I picked up. I'm about to pick up a uh, pickaxe. Uh, that thing over there, I do believe that's a candle. I'm going to assume that's a candle. Yeah, we're not going to get those yet. Just get this section up here. Go over here. I think those are calipers. And there you go. Calipers or pliers, whatever. 
So you might notice I'm kind of blazing through this right now. Yeah, that's that'll change soon enough. And you, now you notice that there are uh, numbered things there going on. And, uh, yeah, what's up with that? Well, those are teleporters. We press numbers corresponding to it on the keyboard, and there you go. I'm on level three. Pick up this anvil, fall down here. I guess those were binoculars. I don't know. Actually, that was probably the wrong move. That was close. That was close. You might wonder what happens when you touch these things, and, uh... You know, they're flashing. Well, I'll explain it to you now that I picked up the uh, hyperdermic needle, whatever the fucking thing that was. Also, by the way, that's you, you can only fall so far. That was too far. And when you die, you start all over. You do. Some glorious shit right here, I'm telling you. Yeah, this game does have, uh, it does increase in difficulty as we go. Also, there's no music, so, yeah. I'll just provide my own at this point. I think it fits. I hope you agree with me. Good old-fashioned mining mounty music. I tells you what. Let's see, I think I can... Yeah, I can safely do that. So you don't have to collect all the items. You don't have to kill all the monsters. You do, however, have to get all the spaces. Once again. Now those have turned red. We're gonna have to wait a little bit for a recharge time. Otherwise, you'd just be abusing them all day. And the game, the game doesn't want you doing that. Yeah, prepare for Station 4. Here's where the game starts to, you know, become a bit of annoyance. I think this level was labeled as the lily pads in the manual. Lots of, uh, the precision jumping. And, you know, it may not seem like it's that bad, but it, it can be. It's like, once again, I almost could have died there. I, I might die from this. No, no, I forgot. That was safe enough. Safe enough for my purposes. That's a big part of the game, trying to figure out what's a safe distance to fall and what isn't. He's a bounty bob, you can tell. He's a plump little fucker. He does not like to be dicked with, as far as the gravity goes. It'd be nice if I could just jump off the ladder and you know, get to those platforms, but this... What is this? Four bits? Eight? This doesn't really seem like eight. Maybe it is. Maybe I just don't understand bits. I really don't. I think eight bits, I think Nintendo. This came way before Nintendo, from my recollection, so, you know, I... I assume four to... point five... Somewhere along those lines. And that's what happens when you accidentally clip a radioactive monster. That is exactly what happens. Don't do that. I'll just get this out of the way to begin with. Oh, it's a mad rush. Mad rush. Well, never mind. You just go ahead. I'll catch up with you right the fuck now. Yeah, some of these items are pretty obvious what they are. You know, that's a flower pot. Obvious, right? Uh, this thing up here. Martini glass. Why not? Lovely cocktails in the mines. Birthday cake, you know, hey. Could happen. Someone could have had a birthday. Why not? Seems like a hell of a place to celebrate your birthday. In the mines. But, 
hey, they're a rugged old bunch. Maybe they just don't fucking care. Who would? Who would? So yeah, the whole bit about Yukon Johan, I, I don't know why why that's in the game. Hell, the manual, the whole story took place in a bar. People reminiscing over the picture of Black... Well, no, no, not, not Black Bob. Bounty Bob. It had a black reef around it. Like he was dead, because he never came back from the mines. It's kind of understandable, why not? 255 potential difficulty levels. You know, you, you get done with this game, you're just gonna keep going in sequential order. So yeah, if you weren't done with that, yeah, there's this level. I, I don't need to dig around. Also, it would be a bad idea to pick up that martini glass that's glowing. You can probably guess, and correctly so, that that's quite fatal. That is full of radioactive waste. Not good for you. Actually quite bad. It will kill you. And kill you dead. As, you know, radioactive materials are bound to do. So let's be honest. Yes, you can jump backwards. I, I think you may have noticed that. Yeah, here, here's where the game starts to kind of get a little difficult. Because, you know, realistically, I can I can do this. It's just the, uh, it's just the damn time limit. It's going to be an issue coming up. And also, you got to be really, really kind of careful of how you approach these pieces on the slides. You don't want to accidentally go sliding down until you're good and ready. I can guarantee you this. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now I'm in a bit of a pickle. I need to... I need to proceed back up. Because I... I do. I kind of have to... Okay. I did that. Now, you'll excuse me while I do this. I understand that this is kind of cheap. And I can't blame you for being annoyed. But as you can see, I I nearly fucking killed myself. Oh, that, that candelabra sure is tempting. But no, you gotta say no to some of this shit sometimes. Also, here we go again. I'm going to be saving a little more from now on. Because I... Look, giant pit of radioactive waste. It's a bit dangerous. In case the warning sign didn't clue you in. Now, don't be an idiot. And go down below. Into the lower right. That That's not a good maneuver for you at this minute. That would be possibly the incorrect move, maneuver. Uh, also, going up there, as I was trying to do, that was incorrect. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I just saved, didn't I? I just saved. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Commando time. Commando time. No lives. We've, uh... Kind of wasted them all. That's alright. My incompetence aside, we'll somehow get through this. Somehow. And I'll just... Slowly... Slowly wait for that to come over. Excuse me. I have to... have to save. Again. Yes, I know. I... I don't agree with what just happened. I thought the game paused. I, I missed my opportunity to catch that platform. It's alright. It came back. Thankfully. Now, 
now we get to try to jump up here. We managed that. Ah, okay. Hey, we're doing good. Doing good. Bounty Bob. Living for the danger. Alright, okay. There we go. That's a survivable fall there. I, I don't believe I could survive that fall, though. Yeah, let's just go ahead and not worry about that. And we'll just... Just, we'll just do some, we'll just do some more saving because I'm sorry I I I don't feel like doing this all the fuck over again. You understand, don't you? Don't you? You do. You can understand this. Yeah, don't try jumping down there. Just fall off that. For the love of God. Okay, now it's yeah, that's all done. That's all done. Thank goodness. Station 7. Fuck. This. Noise. Save immediately. Alright. Right away, you notice that we are being accosted by radioactive monsters. The sorts that you have only heard about repeatedly from me. I can't unpause. Oh, great. Alright. That was a little bit of madness right there. That that was all my bad. You see, F9 told me to push it, yeah, but uh, a little bit of a problem. Kind of not possible with recording software. But hey, some uh, stumbling around and you know, a few minutes later. I'll be right back. So yeah, like I was saying, this section kind of sucks. For obvious reasons. A lot of jumping around. A lot of shit to be done. Kind of, you gotta use these platforms to get anywhere. Realistically. Like, I kind of fucked up already. I should have... I should have gotten that one platform down there that I didn't get. My bad. My bad. Oh, this... Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be back when I get to there. Alright, after much, uh, much problems later, getting back up here, you know, I made the wise decision to, uh, Oh, that, that was not the wise decision I was talking about. That's okay, though. That's okay. I think we got time for this. Yeah, you gotta be kind of careful getting all the shit on that one. It, it can sometimes involve jumping back and forth constantly. It, it can. It doesn't necessarily have to. Uh, excuse me, I, you know, I have to drop another save. Because, yeah, this this can get kind of frustrating for the unexperienced. And I think the best option would be to go, yeah, that way. That way. Yeah, there we go. Still kind of sucks the balls. Still kind of got to do some of uh, the backtracking. Well, not even backtracking, you know. Oh, boy. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Well. Wait a minute. I, s I see the solution to this. I do. Oh, I didn't even know I could get to that. Alright, I think this ought to... No. 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 That's that's a problem. Well, whatever. Look, still plenty of time, and there's another issue that you got to be aware of when you're teleporting. That's uh, yeah, kind of 
kind of don't be on a slide when you do that, because that creates issues. And I'm I'm full of issues, as you can tell. All right, no big deal. No big deal. Okay, just go at it from this side. There we go. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'll be right the fuck back. And now that I'm back, the solution to that little spot right there, I can't believe I forgot. There you go. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll just be, uh, you know, saving real quick, again. Because now we're introduced to new mechanics here. Via the spring, or lift, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I gotta press spacebar to activate that fucker. And, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Already kinda messed up. Already kind of messed up. I'll be right back. Yeah, the problem with that one down there, because I do need to get to it, is that that monster moves so fucking fast. I need to kill him right the fuck away. Like that. And now, that leaves the, uh, the path open to... Yeah, don't, don't fall down that slide, because I don't think there's a way back up. Everything's heavily reliant on this, on this, you know, garbage that I'm having to use right now. Yeah, this, this garbage. This garbage. This horrible fucking lift contraption that roars at me every time I have to use it. It's not like I want to use it. Okay, in the game. Wait, wait, that, that, that. Mm, there we go. You know, just. Okay, yeah, it wasn't up high enough. Whatever. Okay, you. You go. Th okay, good, 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 good. Good. We're set. Set to take down the final monsters. Look, I know I didn't mention the, the, the flashing bar down there. I know I didn't mention that at all. I shouldn't have to at this point. You know very well that that's radioactive. There's no way to avoid going down that slide. I had to do it. Thank God that that was positioned there for me to be able to take advantage of. Yes, that ladder on the right is broken. Designed to fuck with you is what that is. Yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, here we go. Normal. Do this. Yes. Because this section... This section's a bitch. Yeah, jump. And then you fall down. You take the long ride down. Watch out for these radioactive pulverizers. They'll kill you. They'll kill you. And because of that slide thing over there, on that side over there, and these platforms, which don't move back and forth, unless you're touching them, yeah. You basically only get one shot at all this. And God help you if you fuck up. God help you. Because you might. You, you probably will. I know I did. I never got this far as a kid. I never got past the last stage that I just played, I think. And I think I only got to it once. Logic was a bit beyond me as a youth. Much as it evades me now most of the time. But whatever. Whatever. So, tedium aside, I do believe we got this. And there we go. Alright. Yeah, just run past all that crap. 
get ready to intercept that hot dog over there. Hot dog intercepted. Hells yes. Did I mention Bob is supposed to be a mountain? I don't know if I did. Just a little background story for you. About Bob. What the fuck he's doing chasing a guy named Yukon Johan in a mine and you never encounter him, I don't know. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, drop a quick save. Again. I know they're not exactly quick. Say hello to the cannon level. You might notice the TNT charge up there. And, oh look, that's all the collectibles that there are in this level. TNT. Yes, delicious, delectable TNT. What possibly could this do? Well, of course it's TNT. I'm in a mine. That means I'm going to be getting me some gold. I'm going to be getting me some gold so hard. I'm going to be blowing up cavern walls, and it's just going to be pouring out. Like delicious rain. So I'm just going to position this can over here, and, uh, bam! So in case you didn't, you know, realize that was going to happen, it, it just did. Okay, so now that I'm back, let's do this the correct way. You need one... You need 10 tons per per uh, level, so that's 30 tons, three charges. We're gonna go up to the top levels first, get those out of the way, because those are annoying. Those require the most avoidance of the enemies, because you're not gonna be able to kill any of these things. There's no fucking way. <laughs> yeah, it helps to have a little bit of patience. As you can tell, I I lack in that department. Oh boy. Gotta time this right. Oh boy, timing was off. Timing was off. Go, 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 go! Alright. Made it. You might ask what happens if you go into the cannon without any charges. I I don't even know. You might think I'd be tempted to find out. No, not really. <laughs> not really. Maybe later. I, I... Now I do really want to know. But first I want to kind of get through this. I'm kind of tired of it, you see. Uh, 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 oh boy. No. No, that's... That's not fucking happening. It might happen now. Go, Bob. Bob, you did it. You did it, Bob. Time to do the second tier. Second tier, and we're almost there. Good God Almighty. You know, on, on some of the manuals for this game, there's a picture of a miner. Quite the manly, scraggly beard. I don't really know if that's supposed to be Bob or if that's the uh, Johan guy that we're supposed to be chasing after that we never get to meet. What the shame! Seems like a much more interesting character than old Bob here. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know. How much can you expect? Bob's life is a busy one. Claiming the mines. Is that really what we're doing? I mean, I don't know. I, I liked my whole idea about we're, we're not cleaning the mines, we're cleaning up radioactive waste better. Or something. And claiming the mine? I don't know. Why would we even want the mine? There's nothing in this mine worth of value. Radioactive monsters. Shovels and stale donuts and hot dogs. Yeah. Kinda don't see the charm in this place. It might just be me, though. It might just be me. Eh, whatever. Bob's got his priorities, I got mine. Mines. 
Ooh. Thought, I, thought I hit that thing. So, yeah, now, now that we're done with that, you know, fuck it. I'm curious. I'm curious. What happens if you go in there? Okay, you don't even go in. Well, there you go. Now, let's be a crazy cahoot. And let's get all the dynamite. Because I, I, I claimed everything up there, right? Yes. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. No. No reason to go back. And there you go. What's next? Yeah! Zone 2! Yeah, if you were paying attention earlier, you know already that that's all we do. We just repeat levels. Now, let me just auto-boot this again. Manual says there's 255 zones. Here's Zone 9. Yeah, buddy! Oh, shit, yeah! Look at that! Look at them crazy fuckers move! Now, I haven't played much of Zone 9. Beside this first level, a little bit. I'll attempt to complete it. I, I doubt that that's going to happen. Because as you can see, they move just a little... a little fast. A little fast. And they don't stay edible for long. In case you forgot that, yeah, we're totally supposed to be eating these things. But, uh, hey, if they put 255 zones in here, this must be possible, right? It must be. I don't believe it for a second either. I don't believe it for a second either. Yeah, this is not going to happen. Look at that thing! Look at him move. Do do I even do I even hope to have a chance? No fear, Bob. No fear. Oh, one square away. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck this noise. Fuck this noise. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. You wanted some retro gaming. I gave it to you. Next time, uh, fuck it. We'll go back to the 90s. Play with Pogs, in case someone wanted to see that. Or, you know, I could pretend to be Grandpa and talk about how I used to, you know, mess around with Tilly Winks. Wooden hoops with sticks? Pushing them around like wheels? Oh yeah, I was all about that. Let's play Jax. I, I still play Jax. Jack's off. That's right, to the porn. That's a modern game. So, you know, really wouldn't fit the whole retro thing that I'm doing here right now this minute. Whatever. So yeah, you have a good night. And who knows, maybe we'll revisit this some more. I doubt it. Probably no one's interested in this. <laughs> but hey, I enjoy this game. Except on Zone 9 difficulty level, you gotta be bullshitting me.